In this video, we're going to take a look at a different method of generating process data to be used by PIDBOT for PID tuning. In previous videos, we always put the PID controller in manual mode and then manually changed the CV so that we could watch the response in PV. In this video, we're going to leave the PID controller in automatic mode and bump the set point instead. So I'm going to open up the tuning dashboard component for PID controller TC10 and start recording data. At this point in the other videos, we changed the PID from auto to manual and then bumped the CV. In this case, we're going to leave it in auto and I'm going to change the set point from 120 degrees to 140 degrees. Regardless of which bump test method you use, you always want to make sure your process starts at steady state. In our case, we had a little bit of noise and temperature data, but the process itself was steady. And then we generated a nice clear change in CV that generated a nice clear response in PV. The advantage to using this automatic bump test method is that you get to leave your PID controller in automatic mode. So any unforeseen disturbances while you're testing won't cause your process to go way out of the uh, operating bounds. So we have the nice clear automatic response but I'm just going to do a manual step as well so we can compare the two testing methods. And again, we're going to wait for the process to reach a steady state before we do our next bump test. And it looks like it's steadied out around 135 degrees. So I can go ahead and bump the valve position and I'll bump it down to 40%. The advantage of this manual method is you can usually generate a sharper response in your CV and PV. And in our case, our response is nice and sharp. We have a little bit of waviness from the noise and temperature data, but it looks nice and clear. And that's good enough for modeling. So we'll go ahead and move to the next tab and model our data. So the first thing we do is we remember to select the correct model for our process. And for our temperature control loop, we almost always want to select the first order plus dead time model. So I'll start at steady state and we will model the automatic data. And I'll just do that one more time. And just to compare, we'll model the manual step data. And we can see those models are pretty close. So since this video is about uh, the automatic mode testing, I'll go ahead and delete those manual mode tests and we'll just use the automatic test model. So now we can go to the third tab to tune our PID controller and we can see the gray line which represents the step test response for the existing tuning values and the blue line represents the new tuning values. I'm just going to slow that down a bit. We'll make it a bit more conservative just in case our model was off at all. And I'll accept those tuning values. Now we can go back to the first tab, put the controller in auto. It now has the new values and I'll step the set point so we can check if our response is good with the new values.
And that looks good. We've come right up to 140 degrees, our new set point with minimal overshoot. And now it's steadying out to control right at 140. So you can definitely use automatic data to tune with PidBot.